Good morning. We are uh, at the DI. Are you shocked? <laughs> Shocker. It's Monday. We're thrifting. My phone told me this morning, you know how it gives you a map where you're going to go and it's like Desert Industries. It will take you this many minutes to get there. Um, we're going to be thrifting today, looking for small stuff. You never know what you're going to find. You but, know I'm um, going to pick up some frames and some something weird like an animal to paint. And show them, show them the sunroof. Yeah. Still, more, more snow. Still cold. Spring has not come. All right. So we're going to go in the kitchenware first. See what they got. That's cute, but it's missing the handles. I don't know. Do you see anything good here? I'm not quite awake yet this Monday morning. I'm not seeing anything. So shadow boxes are pretty cool, right? But I just feel like that's a little excessive. Like what are you? Is that just a shelf? What is that for? Oh, fun little clock. Hello. Five dollars. Clocks, man. They're way high right now. All right. So first thing of the day, cute little mirror, a dollar. That'd be cute painted. Do I get the solo corbel? It's a dollar fifty. I'm going to put it in the cart just in case I find a friend for it. Sometimes the other one will be somewhere else I'm in the store. Picking up these wall pockets because we've sold all the ones that we have. So we need a few more. Two bucks is good. All right, let's check out the candlesticks. That one's ugly, but could be better. And definitely potential two dollars. Let's see how much this one is. Two dollars. I'll grab these. All right. I don't know if I need this or not. I think I want to put it in the cart just because it's so unique. It's fifteen dollars. All right. So we found some pretty dishes. I'm not in love with them. I think I'm gonna pass. So pretty slim pickings. I'm gonna go out to the yard. Zeb's already been out here, but we'll see. I actually like this $30 for the set. I don't know why he left these. I'm definitely gonna pick them up. They'd be cute at the shop. All right, so I know why he didn't get them. They're really wobbly. And I thought maybe we could put a sign on them, but it looks like maybe just a plant. So I'm gonna think about them. I'm gonna pick up this, it's three bucks. I don't know if Zeb passed it or whatever, but it'd be good on the wall or you can just use it like a platter. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I'm interested in, but it's it's like slim pickings today. Sometimes I don't know if it's slim pickings or I'm just like not in the mood to see what's here. Some days I feel like I just have better eyes. Comment if I'm missing anything that you would have bought. Cause so far I'm just not seeing anything. All right, last thing that I found here, thick bottom blue glass with seashells. I think this would be fun in a summer display if it lasts that long. Seashells always do really well and it has a cute little sand dollar, four bucks. That's kind of cool. Probably do leather with that. It's not a treadle. Oh, it is a treadle. It's a different kind of treadle than I'm used to. I think that's just a start and stop, not an actual wheel. It's the controller. You said you're going to the bathroom, but I see that you have been detoured. You think well, you? I saw it over on the shelf. I think I can fix it. You think you can fix everything, but can you fix it? Yes. The answer is yes. So we're definitely going to have to hit up another store. We only spent like 40 bucks and $5 was canning jars. So it's making some room. And I got a slim pickings. Like I'm really reaching on some of this stuff too. We'll paint it and make it look great, but I didn't find anything that blew me away this morning. So. We gotta go find another thrift store. Quick. All right, so we chose Riverton DI as the next thrift store because it's typically slow. It usually doesn't have tonnage, but we didn't feel like throwing elbows at AF. What do you think, Seb? I'm hopeful, you know, I think we can find some good stuff in here. It's been a few weeks since we've been to this one. I think this counts as weird find of the day. How much is this? $4. This angel looks like she's been working out to me. All right, so I'm gonna look at the tchotchkes because so far I've not like found anything that I love. She's kind of cute. Oh, cookie jar, is that a cookie jar? It is a cookie jar. Two dollars and made in Japan. I'm definitely gonna pick her up, it's so cute. I found some grapes for Jamie. She's gonna love this. 
I feel like just walking up over here, I see good stuff. Oh man, I wish the base for this was somewhere. This is huge. No base. This is kind of a cool vase here. It feels waxy, like someone waxed it. I'm gonna take a chance. These always do good. Oh man, it's almost Christmas, right? It's hard to find a good crash. I can always find all of the pieces, but not the crash. So I'm gonna get this. This has got mirrors on it, but I kind of like it. Might get rid of the mirrors. A little Howard Miller clock. That's cute. It needs a paint job, but I lo always love a good shelf clock. So Zeb was already out here, and I don't know how he missed this shelf. Three bucks. Definitely picking this up. Somebody else already painted it, but I think with the new paint job, it could be super cute. Oh, polar bears. They're made out of something fuzzy. I wish they were solid wood. So that's interesting. I'm gonna pull it out and check it out. I'm gonna ask Deb if he thinks we can fix this because that needs to lay flat. It needs a paint job. Definitely new fabric, maybe some grain sack, but I think it would be cute. No price, so we'll have to ask. So I found a green cake plate at the other thrift store that we were at uh, for $1.50. This kind of has a unique shape, but I'm willing to take a risk on it. And even though it's clear, I think it might pair well with So that. I didn't find any frames I had to come home with at the other thrift store, but we got tonnage here, so I'm gonna take some time to go through this. Kind of like the shape of this one. Needs a paint job. It's got some scuffs, a little bit of damage, but nothing we can't fix. I don't like the coloring, but these are new. They've got matting already in them. The mats can be like six, seven bucks by themselves if you buy them down at the craft store. And this is only two bucks. So what about your weird find of the day? This is not actually weird, but it is broken. So I'm gonna have to put it back, which makes me sad because I literally have like you five You can just paint it. Part. No, that's not, that's not a thing. You never know what you're gonna find in the thrift store. $150 takes home that clown. I'm gonna leave it here for the next person. We have not broke a hundred dollars yet today. I'm gonna need you to take me to Savers. Savers? You know I'm getting desperate when I'm like, let's go to Savers. Oh, but, man, that. oh no, that would have been sad because we don't have that much today. Let's see if this fits on here. Um, oh, yeah, little. Fits little mismatch but the green with the clear you can match anything with the clear i like it you did so good all right we haven't been to savers in a long time so i'm hopeful that there's some good stuff here and i'm hoping that it's not overpriced because i don't have any coupons what always happens is if we don't find anything good at the first thrift store we go to the second we usually don't find what we need because we're late to that thrift store and then we get too much because we went to three we'll see what happens right, here so right off the bat i got like five things i want six bucks uh, Seven bucks. Six. Oh, five forty-nine. That's too much. All right, check this out. Nine ninety-nine at Savers. Tarnished silver, right? There's a Deseret Industries price tag for a dollar. So it's snowing, and the fourth time is a charm. One more di. Hopefully, they got something good. I spy with my little eye a candlestick. Oh, and it's two bucks. This would be like six or seven dollars at Savers. I'm gonna pick that up. See if there's anything else that I can't live without. So I've actually purchased these before. They're cute. They're little like bookends. Oops. And they are a dollar each. So I think I'm gonna grab them. I always love cats. I like to paint them pink. I just think it's cute. Found a rolling pin. That's always good. The first one of the day. So I'm gonna check out the dishes. I kind of like these pink candlesticks, but they're orangey. So I think I'm gonna leave them behind. Here's a cute aluminum-like pot. Diamond brand. I'm gonna pick that up. That's cute. It's a little lamb mold. It's even wrapped in the plastic. Three bucks. I'm going to pick that up. This is a cute old vintage frame. I think Zeb can print out like an 11 by 17 for me for that one. Let's see. Only three bucks. So on the cart, a couple of cuties. A dollar, two dollars. I think if we paint them to match, they could be a fun set. What do I spy? A couple of matching 
lamps. Now the question is, what's the price? Because I don't love the shades, so the shades are gonna go bye-bye or become skeleton shades. All right, so it looks like they're $8 and they're metal shades. These are kind of dirty, but if I take them off, they'll look cute skeleton. The tops are not matching, but I'm just gonna paint them cute. I don't understand the speckled Hobby Lobby type finish, but I'll repaint them and make them look better. So we spent the most at this thrift store. We spent about 60 bucks. We're starting to fill up and we probably should go home, but there is a Goodwill. And we haven't been to the Goodwill here in a long time. So we're gonna check it out. It's kind of hit or miss. All right. So right across the street is Goodwill. We wouldn't normally come here except for it's just so close. We have enough stuff, but you know, fifth store, we're gonna see what they got. Check out the kitchenware. They got a rolling pin. It's only number two this week, so we're definitely gonna pick that up. I wish that teapot had its lid. Yeah, that would be cool. Asparagus teapot. Here's a crock lid, but where's the crock? I don't know, Zeb. Four ninety nine. I guess. Four ninety nine. All wrapped up. We could do something cool with that. All right. We got some angel wings. So we gotta shop the tops. They put lots of stuff on the top here. And I spotted this hen here. I haven't found a hen in a while. $5.99. Definitely gonna pick this one up. Yeah, I think that's good. Thanks for coming along with us to five thrift stores, including Goodwill and Sabres. You know, it, I think it says a little something when the competition down the road is selling for a third or more than that less than yours um we actually went into the savers and didn't get anything didn't have anything good like if if the prices are too much you I always tell people you don't make money when you sell stuff you make money when you buy it so if you pay too much it really doesn't matter because you're never going to make enough profit so always keep that in mind stay tuned i will take a video of all the junk and some pictures so you can see what we bought today we spent just under 200 dollars um had a good time and we're ready to paint <laughs> It's gonna be a lot of paint this week. Yeah, this is a fun thrift haul. There's a lot of good things in there, but also a lot that needs some work. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jay Marie Vintage for more DIY and thrifting.